In this video, I will discuss about edge triggered SR flip flop. In my previous video, I have explained about level triggered SR flip flop. In this video, we will study about edge triggered SR flip flop so that we can come to know the difference between level triggering and edge triggering. Edge triggered SR flip flop is also known as clocked SR flip flop. In edge triggered flip flops, output of the flip flop responds to the input changes only at positive or negative edges of the clock. So there are two types of edge triggered flip flop. One is called positive edge triggered flip flop. Another one is negative edge triggered flip flop. If output of the flip flop responds to the input changes only at positive edges of the clock input then it is known as positive edge triggered flip flop. Similarly, if output of the flip flop responds to the input changes only at negative edges of the clock input, then it is called negative edge triggered flip flop. So in edge triggered flip flop, edge triggered SR flip flop, we have three inputs. One is S, one is R, another input is clock input. So here output depends not only on S and R, it also dependent on clock input. So it has two outputs. One is Q, one more is Q bar. So now consider positive edge triggered SR flip flop. So in positive edge triggered SR flip flop, the block diagram is represented like this. This mark indicates it's a positive edge triggered flip flop. Here we have the inputs as I said. S which is nothing but set input, R stands for reset in input, another input usually represented as CLK that is clock input, it has two output that is Q and Q bar. So this is SR flip flop, positive edge triggered SR flip flop. So for edge triggered flip flop the symbol is like this. So this is the circuit diagram implemented using NAND gate. So here we have the input S, yes. another input is R. So clock input here, this one is clock input. We have Q and Q bar. This is Q and this is Q bar. So here we have clock input, that is clock input S, yes, R, S yes and R. Let Q1 is present state of the flip flop, that is this is present state of the flip flop qn plus 1 is next state of the flip flop next state of the flip flop present state the difference with next state of the flip flop means the response of the flip flop after applying the clock pulse that usually we will call it as next state of the flip flop let this be a status state which indicates the status of the flip flop if clock input is 0, irrespective of S and R, that is S may be 0 or 1, that is don't care, R may be 0 or 1. If QN is 0, then QN plus 1, that is if present output is 0, then after applying clock pulse, the next output is also 0. Similarly, if clock input is 0, irrespective of S and R, suppose present input, present state of the flip flop is 1, in that case also the next state will be 1. So it indicates that next state and previous state, present state both are same. There is no change in the state of the flip flop. We can call it as no change. That is state of the flip flop. So this is no change. So thus the positive edge trigger flip flop will work only at the positive edges of the clock. So positive edges of the clock usually we will represent it by this arrow mark. So this arrow mark indicates positive edge triggered flip flop. So at positive edges of the flip clock, the flip flop is active. So this arrow mark is nothing but 1. So here we can see that if S is 0, R is 0, if QN is 0, that is present state of the flip flop is 0, this is one possible case. Another possible case is S is 0, R is 0 and present state of the flip flop is 1. So if S is 0 and R is 0, then next state of the flip flop is same as 
present state of the flip flop that is there is no change so therefore the next state will be same as the present state so here it will be 0 and here it will be 1 again here we can see that there is no change so now the next possible case is s may be 0 r may be 1 the present state of the flip flop may be 0 this is one possible case another possible case is s may be 0 r is 1 present state of the flip flop is say 1 so in this case if reset is 1 r is 1 and s is 0 the flip flop will reset flip flop will reset means next state of the flip flop will be 0 that is this is 0 similarly if present state of the flip flop is 1 and if r is 1 in that case the flip flop will reset that is this one indicates flip flop is already in set state the next state will become 0 so the status of status of the flip flop is reset so similarly the next possible case is s may be 1 r may be 0 and present state of the flip flop is 0 another possible case is s may be equal to 1 r may be equal to 0 present state of the flip flop may be 1 then next state will become set that is the next state will be will be equal to 1 similarly here if s is 1 r is 0 if present state of the flip flop already is in set state it will be remain in the set state so we can see that flip flop will set and another possible case is if s is 1 r is 1 and qn is 0 that is present state is 0 s is 1 r is 1 and present state of the flip flop is 1 in that case the flip flop is not defined in sr flip flop if both the inputs are 1 1 the flip flop is not defined that is we cannot say that what is the next state of the flip flop so it is called indeterminate state that is indeterminate state so here also it is same that is indeterminate state so this is the working operation of positive edge trigger flip flop now i will explain the working of this circuit with waveform so let me consider this is the clock signal so let this signal is s input let this be r input so now i will consider this as q output that is nothing but output of the flip flop so here this is the clock signal we can see that this edge is known as positive edge of the clock signal or rising edge of the clock signal so this is falling edge of the clock signal or we can also call it as negative edge of the clock signal so again here it is positive edge of the clock signal so here this is positive edge of the clock signal this is negative this is positive edge that is rising edge of the clock is nothing but positive edge and here this is positive edge of the clock signal now let me explain how it works so here the flip flop is active only at positive edges of the clock so here we can see that so this is the positive edge of the clock signal so at the beginning we will assume that the flip flop output is 0 so here this is the flip flop output which is 0 so when the first clock edge of the signal arrives so at this moment the value of s is 0 here the value of s is 0 and value of r is 0 when s is 0 and r is 0 that is when s is 0 and r is 0 as i said qn is 0 so here i have taken this as 0 that indicates present output of the flip flop i have assumed that qn is equal to 0 so here qn plus 1 will also be 0 that is when both are 0 0 the output of the flip flop will be 0 so this output will be 0 until the next edge of the clock pulse that is next positive edge of the clock pulse so here this is the ne next edge of the clock signal so till this point the output of the flip flop will be 0 
so it will come as zero only till this point it will be zero now at this moment here we can observe that the output the s yes input is one here so at this moment or instant the value of r is zero so here s yes is one r is zero so here we can see that when s yes is one r is zero the flip flop will be in set state that is flip flop is in set means flip flop output will go high so here at this moment it will go high and the flip flop will be in high state until the next clock edge so this is the next clock edge so till it reaches the next clock edge the output of the flip flop is high so i will show high till this moment so at this instant now s yes value is zero r value is zero when both are zero zero there is no change no change means flip flop will carry the same previous output so this will be continued again till next clock edge so this is next clock edge so till this point its output will be high itself as i have shown here so when at this instant the value of s is 0 here we can see value of r is 1 when s is 0 r is 1 flip flop will reset reset means output of the flip flop will go zero so here it will go zero and the zero state will be continued till the next clock pulse so here till this point the flip flop output is zero it will be continued so at this instant the value of s is 1 here and value of r is zero so again the flip flop will set again at this instant it will go high and it will remains high so this is how the positive edge triggered flip flop will work so another output is we have q bar that is complement of q so here from till this instant value of q is 0 so here in q bar it will be 1 so i will show it as 1 and at this instant the value of q is 1 here it will be 0 because q bar is complement of this just i will draw complement of this signal so here it will be zero till this point and here it comes zero from here to here it is zero it will be high from here to here its value is 1 then it will go zero and it will be like this so this is q bar output of the flip flop so this is the waveform for positive edge triggered sr flip flop now let's see how the negative edge triggered sr flip flop will work let me consider negative edge triggered flip flop so in negative edge triggered flip flop can be represented as let me consider this as s input this is r input this is q output q bar let me consider this as clock so here the negative edge of the clock is represented as here we supposed to put one circle and we have to mark like this it indicate the circle with this mark indicates negative edge of the clock so let me this is s this is r so here we can give the bubble that indicates negative edge of the clock this will be q and this will be q bar so, so the truth table for both the cases it will be same the truth table is same now let's see how negative edge trigger flip flop will produce the output let me explain the waveform again i will consider the same waveform here let me consider this has the clock signal let this be set input this be reset this be q output so here these edges falling edge of the clocks are known as negative edges this is negative edge this is negative edge this is negative edge this is negative edge and this is negative edge so in negative edge triggered flip flop the flip flop is active only for negative edges so here let me assume that at the beginning qn is equal to 0 at the beginning i will assume output of the flip flop is 0 so output of the flip flop is 0 until it arrives the first negative edge of the clock so this is first negative edge of the clock so here i can say till this point the flip flop output is 0 i will assume q is 0 at the beginning so when first negative edge of the clock arrives at this instant s value is 
here r value is 0 when s is 1 r is 0 flip flop will set set means it will go high it will go high and it remains high until the next clock pulse so here next negative edge of the clock is here so till this point the output q will be high so let me show it as high till this point so here at this negative edge of the clock s value is 0 here and r value is 1 here we can see its value is 1 now the flip flop will reset it will go low and it will it will be low until the next clock pulse next negative edge of the clock this is negative edge of the clock till this point the flip flop is in reset state so now here s is 0 r is 0 when both are 0 0 there is no change no change means previous state will continue again it will remain 0 until the next clock pulse so this is negative edge of the next pulse so it will be 0 so now at this instant value of s is 1 r is 0 again the flip flop will set it will go high and it will be high till the next negative edge of the clock so this is the q output of the negative edge triggered flip flop let me show q bar q bar will be just complement of q so here till this point it is 0 here it will be 1 then it is 1 here it will become 0 here so here from here to here it is 0 in q bar it is supposed to be 1 then it will go low so this is the complete waveform for negative edge triggered flip flop